Welcome to another Unturned video. Today we're going to play Rust Turned, which is a Rust mod in Unturned. If you guys want to play on the server, it's called Reform. Today we're going to start afresh, and this will be the beginning of a new series. If you guys want more Rust Turned, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 150 likes. Subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, we're back. It has been a while since I've actually played here now. I do have some ideas of what I want to do. First of all, I'm very far to where I actually want to be, but I want to live near the lighthouse. We're actually kind of close now, so I can just walk there. So I'm gonna live next to the lighthouse, because first of all, over there, the lighthouse, you could get so much elite traits from there, and not that much people go there, so it won't really be a PvP area. So that's exactly where I'm gonna build the base. And obviously over there, there's also... A lot of metal and sulfur nodes so that's really good i got myself a wooden vest a shirt and a better pickaxe that's that's pretty good already the base will most likely be stone at the start and then later on we'll upgrade it to metal and high quality metal i'll build it somewhere around here it's pretty good we could always see if there are people at lighthouse maybe once we get snipers you know we could just snipe them from our base as well I will do a 2 by one for now with a triangular airlock. And then the pillars will all be wood and the rest will just be stone. I got myself some metal in order to make crates and in order to make the doors. I accidentally crafted myself a high external wall, but I'll just place it right over there. Now I'll go smelt all of this metal that I've got. I should have enough to make at least two doors and maybe even enough to make the roof. And yeah, there we go, we got two already. Now we'll make ourselves two roofs. Perfect. Next items that we gotta make is a bed and some storage. First box has been crafted. And the second box as well. Now we have ourselves enough space where we could actually go loot. Time to go for our first lighthouse run. Alright, first elite crate. Oh my, oh my god, that is so good. We get ourselves an AK star and a supply signal. That has to be one of the best elite crates I've ever done in my life, actually. Usually I get myself the worst items. I am back in base. I've pretty much looted the whole lighthouse. We got ourselves a lot of components, which I will smelt into high quality metal and metal frag. I will keep the tech trash because we're going to need them later on in order to make ourselves C4. And, you know, as always, I'm going to try to raid. So Nicole joined me and she's going to be my duo. And basically we're about to go and do ourselves the two supplies signals all right we'll throw them here nicole will go hide into the castle so that way if people try to counter she would be hiding up there and if i do get killed then i'll just tp straight back to her we don't have that much extra guns though i gave her the sword and i'm gonna use the ak so they both pretty much landed let's go check out what the first one has chainsaw tommy fifth all right well i guess the 50 logs is going to be very helpful i won't even take the chainsaw i really don't like those Oh, yeah, that is pretty good. Heavy jacket, two armored doors, LR, L96, and oil. That's amazing, actually, and gump out there. Next, we're going to run around the map. We're gonna search for base raids. We're going to go to the airport and to the oil rig, get, my, get ourselves some oil from there. And at the same time, hopefully, we'll find ourselves some base raids. Maybe we'll do find a live one as well. Look at the air trap. There's nobody here, actually. I don't think that much people come to the airport. Now, we're gonna go head over to the oil rig. Oh, rocket launcher. Okay, well, that's okay. All right, well, I'm completely full of oil. I'm gonna go back and depot all of this oil, all of these items that I've got, and then we'll continue on the search. We got ourselves a boat. So we did actually find ourselves a base to raid. Now, on this server, you can no longer build plates, which is pretty good, but you can make these ladders. And yeah, we have found ourselves an unraided base. Time to mine as much metal and sulfur as possible so we can start working on C4. Made myself a couple of boxes because we're running out of space already. Now I can already start crafting C4 and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Feels good not being on the server for too long, but we've got ourselves so much explosives already. I've already crafted two C4. Pretty much crafted all of the explosives that I've had into C4. We do have quite a ton, not that much. First trade of this wipe. Hopefully we get ourselves some good items and profit. And we broke everywhere else. There's some crates here, some boxes, junk, some bunch of junk, some cloth, some high quality metal. Okay, well, that looks a bit better, I guess. Yeah, this was bad. We used 2C4 and we didn't really gain anything back. We're gonna take literally everything. Everything can be smelted and can be made into high quality metal. So I'm going to take everything. All right, second insane base trade. It's not gonna take me that much, this one. Probably just that 1C4. 20 sulfur, 20 stone and 10 log. Okay, and some logs and some sulfur. All right, this base was actually better than the last one. So we found a weird base. It's not even finished, but it looks like they've made a, a corn farm and cloth. They have some box. Oh yeah, they do have some stuff. All right, well, I'll take them out anyway. Metal, salvaged pickaxe in here. Some cloth. A lot of stone, okay. Right, let's take that salvaged pickaxe though. That's really, really good. Until hopefully one day we'll get a jackhammer. All right, I'm gonna loot harbor really quickly. There's some elite crates here. Now I did find myself some other bigger raids that I don't currently have enough. So we might come back to them later on. 
Alright, another base raid. This might be the last one for now because I'm gonna run out of explosives. And we got ourselves some stones, some sulfur. Uh, MP5, okay. Fuel, there's a salvaged axe in here. Alright, we did get ourselves some useful stuff. Next, I'm just going to farm because I am completely out of C4. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> there's no way, that, dude, I'm gonna bleed out. No, I'm dead, bro. Bro, I actually managed to kill him, though, with a punch. I need to go back before he gets back, man. I need to go get his loot. MP5, here we go. I'm back, I'm back. All right, he's not here, he's not here. Let me take everything really quickly. Wait, the, the good items. Oh, no, everything is still here. Okay, perfect. I got rocket launcher as well. Oh, my God, bro, that is insane. I punched this guy to death when he was full geared. All right, I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything good. Let me take those syringes. Let's take the high quality. All right, he will probably be coming back, so we have to be careful. Oh, we both run out of ammo. Look at this. He ran out of ammo as well. Both AKs are empty. All right, let me destroy this. And there's a Bolty. Oh, wait, he's coming. He's coming back, yeah. Alright, he's dead. Let's go. Let me check up here really quickly because there might be one more elite crate. Yeah. A Thompson. Alright, let's see what he had. He for sure had the Riot Helmet though. Yeah, Riot Helmet and a fully decked out AK and two mags. Perfect. Now we home. It's actually nice finding random items and boxes. I'm over here at the oil rig. I specifically came here to get myself as much oil as possible. Alright, so I made a bed right next to the harbor. The main reason is because whenever I need oil, I would either need to come here or go to the oil rig. Now it's going to be time for me to start building my main base. And it's going to be full high quality metal except for the floors and the pillars. I've got myself quite a ton of high quality metal. So hopefully it's going to be enough. It's very expensive. So for example, one high quality metal is going to take us 15. All right, so it's pretty much done. I played the doors pretty good as well. Oh, there's people at Lighthouse. Oh, he had an LR, right? Yeah, he has an LR. Oh my god, what is he doing with an LR? Oh, an armored door. Oh, let's go. Really good. There's a guy in the water. And he's dead. I right, had a double barrel dead of course there's a guy in here it's literally right next to my i didn't have anything okay this guy was building right next to my base man i had to i had to take care of him or else he could just be try to raid me later on he had a thompson some clothes salvaged axe that's that's pretty much it nothing too good there's a guy there oh the same guy that killed me okay well i got my revenge and hopefully my loot is no, it's not. But it's even better. An LR. Okay, an LR and a lot of heavy clothes. Alright, so an airdrop landed here. Hopefully nobody actually shows up. Any insane load? Oh, C4. Oh my god, we got a C4. Okay, this was a really good one. C4, 100 logs, armored stuff. That's really good. Man, these airdrops today are actually so good. Even mine. And I went to the wrong bed. Okay, I'm gonna raid this base. Let me med up. And now, hopefully I land on the roof. No, almost though. They have a car in here. I think the load is going to be right over there. Any insane loot, some boxes. 50, okay, well, we got ourselves some some normal stuff, I guess. We got ourselves 50 sulfur, 50 high quality. There's 100 blades in here, a bunch of stone. Are we sure in order to make a jackhammer, we need blades? So that's, that's pretty good. And we got ourselves two beds, one of them being unclaimed. Let me destroy all of them. So for that day, we did log off. Nicole did join the server as well in order to take all of the good loot with us. But we didn't actually log off inside our base. We decided to log off inside the base where I door camped and then I completely went in. The only reason to this was, let's say, just in case he comes back and he rebuilds his base. We would get easy loot. We wouldn't even have to waste our raiding gear. And that is exactly what happened. Okay, I'm back. Wait, did he rebuild? Oh, wait, what? There's lockers in here. Oh my god, this guy went to work. Yeah, he's on. This guy's on the server. Doing. Oh, he completely made it a compound as well. I don't have raiding gear on me though. But I guess maybe if I farm a bit, I could destroy those lockers. Man, poor guy doesn't even realize what's about to happen to him. Alright, I destroyed his TC and now I could actually go back. Maybe I'll make myself some ladders to come back. Nicole did log off in here and she's not on the server yet. So maybe once I do get myself like 1C4, I could CP. And my base is also unraided. Let's go. There's a guy coming towards my base. And he's dead. Yes, this is this is the owner. This is the same guy that I've killed yesterday. Okay, has some log, P5, a bunch of stuff. I'll take that salvage pickaxe as well. He had a lot of tech trash. Damn. I'm pretty sure if this guy had C4, he would have offline raided me already. So we actually have to get rid of him before he tries something like that. 
time to farm as much sulfur as possible. I think this base is live as well. There's a bunch of chopped trees here and wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, there's a guy in there. I hear him. No, oh, he didn't have anything. I'm gonna leave him alone. Poor guy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna raid this base. Maybe later on if he does get better loot though, I will try to raid this base. That way he's gonna be looting for me as well. It's kinda rude, but kinda smart. There's people up there. There's people on the harbor, man. And I only have an MP5 on me and they're all going to be on land and they seem like they're fully geared. Oh, they jump. Oh, this, this is perfect. Where are you going? Where's the other one? Oh, I got them both, I got them both. Oh my, okay, AK. Dude, he has heavy jacket. What the hell? What does this guy have? LR, 50 pipes? Dude, he has a jackhammer. Oh my god. Yo, let's get out of here, man. Dude, we got 50 pipes. Salvage pickaxe, a jackhammer, another LR. This was crazy. Well, alright guys, that's going to be it for episode 1. Now, episode 2 will continue and it will get much more intense. Trust me, we're going to get traded, we're going to live raid, and it's going to be insane. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!